I finally gave in and I bought this for my ZV-1. It's the Ulanzi WL-1 wide angle lens and it's the add-on for the Sony ZV-1. But here's the thing, it comes with this. It's the screw on adapter for the lens and on the back of the adapter is a strong 3M adhesive. So what's the big deal? Well, do I stick it on? And if I do, will it work with my teleprompter setup for my videos on this channel? Welcome, I'm Chuck, and if you watch videos on this channel, you know I give tips and tutorials about tech and travel, and as things start to open up, I'm getting some of my gear ready for travel, so I can take you along and give you tips for travel. Now, as you know, I use the Sony ZV-1 as one of my primary cameras here, and I've used it outdoors for some reviews and indoors for a lot of the videos you see here on this channel. Now, it's been out for a while, and we all know it's great for vlogging and for videos like you see here. Now, I've been holding out on getting the Ulanzi WL-1 wide-angle lens for a while. And like many of you, I've been looking at the specs, I've watched YouTube videos, and I read reviews about it. Now, here's what it can do. Once you attach it to the retractable lens barrel of the Sony ZV-1, it takes the widest field of view of 24 millimeters to a wider 18 millimeters. So if you're doing a handheld vlogging shot, this is huge because it allows you to have a wider angle so your head doesn't span the entire frame of the shot. Your viewers can see more of what's around you. While you can already do this with an extendable selfie stick, this allows you to do the shot comfortably with a shorter tripod stick like the one you may have bought with a Sony ZV-1. So what's the big deal? Well, if you have this already or are watching this video to see how I use it, you might be thinking, just put it on and start using it. Well, the Sony ZV-1 is one of my cameras I use for this channel and I also use it with a teleprompter. I've shown you a video about the Kame TV adapter I use to hold a teleprompter and the Sony ZV-1 lens simply goes through the adapter so I can do my videos with that teleprompter. Well, guess what? As you can see here, the Alonzi mount plate is too big for the Kame TV teleprompter mount point and it will not work with my setup. So as I was playing with the shots, as you can see here on the ZV-1, I thought, hey, maybe I can just put this on the Sony RX100 Mark 7. I bought it right before the ZV-1 came out and it has almost the same specs and features of the ZV-1. I have all the settings set up almost identical to the Sony ZV-1 and the Sony A6400 for video and color. So I tried it out and it has the same 24 millimeter field of view as a Sony ZV-1. And as you can see here, as I hold the lens up to the camera, it has the same 18 millimeter field of view as a ZV-1. So as I got ready to mount the WL-1 to the ARX100 Mark 7, I looked at the end of the lens and I realized something. I have a magnetic ring attached to the end of the lens barrel for an ND filter adapter. I almost forgot it was there. I bought it because the RX100 doesn't have a built-in ND filter like the ZV-1 has. I got really excited because I thought, this might be a great solution to the Yolanzi stick-on mount plate. So I went to the carrying case of the RX100. I pulled out the mag filter adapter for the ND filter and looked at the size of the adapter. And what do you know? It fits the Yolanzi WL-1. So I attached the Yolanzi WL-1 to the adapter and it works. Not only does it stay on, it's removable too. What I also remembered as I did this, I already had attached the second mount ring that comes with a magnetic adapter to the Sony ZV-1 so I can mount an ND filter in really bright light since the built-in ND filters only filter about two stops of light. So let's take a look at how these look on the RX100 and the Sony ZV-1. This is the shot with the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Now, before I put on the filter adapter and the Ulanzi WL-1, I'm going to let you know one thing I discovered, and you'll see it right here. When you put on this lens adapter, you get a wider field of view, and I'm only having my hand extended out with the actual handheld grip that comes with my Sony ZV-1, but you might find just a little bit of darkening in the corners. So all you have to do to alleviate that is zoom in just a little bit. It might change your f-stop as you do that, but I'll do that right here so you can see that in just a moment. So I adjusted the shot so you don't see the corners 
of the Lanzi WL-1 in the shot, but as you can see, it's still pretty wide. I have my hand extended the same amount that I had before, and that's the only downfall to using this lens because the filter adapter makes the lens extend out just a little bit, so you'll have a little bit of the barrel show in the shot. But once you adjust for that by zooming in a little bit, the only downfall you'll have is maybe your f-stop may be adjusted as you zoom in just a little bit but it's very minimal and as you can see i still have a lot of room all around me using a lanzi wl1 now this is a shot of the sony zv1 without that filter adapter and the lanzi wl1 i'm going to put that on next right here and as you can see it's a little bit in the corners of the shot and i'll come back in just a moment after i zoom in just a little bit i'm right now at f1.8 and we'll see what the f-stop moves to as i zoom in just a little bit now this is shot zoomed in just a little bit and the f-stop moved up to 2.0 but other than that this shot still looks good i still have a pretty wide shot all around me and no uh, filter corner showing in the shot so that's what it looks like with the Alonzi WL-1 and the lens filter adapter on the Sony ZV-1. Let's go back inside. So how does this help me as a creator? Well, using the magnetic mount adapter for the ZV-1 and the RX-100 gives me flexibility. First, I don't always have a large mount plate attached to the camera when I'm out filming. The mount ring for the magnetic adapter is inconspicuous. Second, since the mag filter adapter with the Alonzi WL-1 is completely removable, I still can use my teleprompter for videos like these. So before I move on to some of the downsides of using the Alonzi WL-1, give me a thumbs up if you're using the wide angle lens and comment below if you're vlogging with it. So now, what are the downsides? Well, the only downside to using any add-on lens adapter is a form factor. Since the ZV-1 and the RX-100 have retractable lens barrels, the Olanzi wide-angle lens is bigger. The MagFilter lens adapter is magnetic, so you have to be careful of bumping it off the lens barrel. Even if you're using the stick-on mount plate, you still have to be careful as well. Now the other downside with the Alonzi wide angle lens on its own is it's heavy and may cause stress on the lens barrel motors. So just take it off when you power on or power off the camera. So links for the Alonzi WL1 wide angle lens and the mag filter adapter are in the description down below. While you're down there, hit that like button if you found value in this video and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. In the meantime, check out these videos right here and thanks for watching.